So the Civic is pretty much done. We can't do anything else until um, we get injectors and we're gonna do an AM uh, V2 box. Um, so Brent and or Jamie are gonna get those for us. Then that can go to PFI. So until that's ready to roll, we're gonna try and finish up the bug. What we have left is I have to take all of the turbo stuff off, which is a good amount. And then I have to finish welding the wastegate, little flanges. Um, the I mentioned in the last video, the flange where it bolts to the, um, the head is leaking and one of the studs is stripped. So we're gonna take all that off, see why it's leaking. Um, I would just say it's the stud, but Dennis on his Civic has like four studs that are broken and it doesn't leak. So it's, and all the other studs are fine. So it's definitely not that. There's something, either the eBay manifold is not perfectly straight or there's something in between the two that's limiting it from sealing properly. So we're gonna take all that off. Um, then we have to wire in the electric water pump. Uh, we have to make a firewall and do intercooler piping, blow off valve and intercooler. So what I'm excited about right now is I found a, uh, or me and Mina thought of a decent idea for the uh, firewall. So basically um, from this line right here, it's gonna go out to about here and then go straight down. Um, this part right here is gonna be solid metal. And then right here, I'm gonna build a little frame and then we're gonna put a little piece of plexiglass so you can see inside here but then it'll all be sealed off and then Jamie or Brent won't get shot in the back of the head with a piston. I kid you not, Jamie said, oh, I don't care, we could tune it without a firewall. And then after he said that, I had like reoccurring daymares of that motor blowing up and something going and hitting Jamie in the head. So I was like, hmm, we're gonna do a firewall. So that's what's next. So what I'm gonna do now is just take everything off um, and then see what's going on there, probably start on the firewall. And then in this video, we're gonna try and get everything knocked out, ready to go to PFI. I'm sure we're running into a couple other little things, but those are the ones we know of. So we're gonna get all that knocked out in this video. Um, then we're gonna go make some power and see what happens. So I may have addressed this, I don't know if I have. I'm not a huge fan of how, of the structure of the bug. We literally have the front end of Integra welded to the back of the bug. In a nutshell, that's all that's going on. We reinforced it and we built it as best we could. And I had some friends come by that are smarter than me and they were like, oh yeah, that looks good. Cool, still not a huge fan of it. I'd like uh, Sean at PFI to make a tube chassis for it just so it's all structural unless he can find a way to make this better. Um, so until then, I don't wanna make more than 300 horsepower. I think, um, I mean, that motor could handle probably 450, 380, something like that. Um, I don't want that much power until we know the chassis is solid. So the plan is to go make that. I got 650 CC injectors for free. So we're gonna roll with that, max those out pretty much or get somewhere, find a happy. If it makes 280, I'm gonna be pumped. I mean, it's gonna be, it weighs 1700 pounds. So, I mean, like a super strip Civic but it's gonna have hopefully better traction because it's rear wheel drive and all the weights in the back. So that's the plan for that. Um, so yeah, so I'm gonna get going on taking everything off and then we're gonna see why it's not sealing and just keep it going. Okay, so I easily figured out why it was leaking. This is what you get when you buy eBay. So this is straight. As you can see there, flush, good, 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 good. Holy mother, do you see that gap? Right there, that's right where it was leaking. You can see it's all black. Right there, look at, look at that. Over here. We're good, 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 holy lord. So, I don't know how to fix that itself, so what I'm going to do is get another set 
of eBay headers. Ugh, I can't cuss. That's probably why the guy that sold me these for 20 bucks sold them to me for 20 bucks. Because it didn't work. I hate people. I like you guys, but I hate people. That's ridiculous. Okay, well, that part's done. So, um, until I can find that, so, uh, how can I, I can't. Goodness gracious, okay, sorry. Um, so until I can find one of those, which isn't gonna be hard, but I'm not buying a new AB, a new eBay one. So until I figure that out, um, this frees up time to start the firewall. So I'll probably get going on that. And then obviously we're not gonna do the intercooler piping until all that stuff is back on. So I'll start making the firewall. That just goes, I mean, that's that's why people don't like eBay. I still love eBay, I'm loyal, but that's why, that's unbelievable. I thought we were gonna have like a little piece of dirt or something that was, that was fighting us, not, I mean, that had to have been like a 16th inch I don't know. Unbelievable. Okay, we're moving on. <laughs> yeah, that's ridiculous. I didn't know those opened. I didn't open that far, but... Oh. Yeah. Well, that's kind of cool. Yeah. Okay. Whoa. So we're at the junkyard, because we got word that an Integra showed up with headers, but it oh, snowed a here. ton. Aha! They have headers. And they don't look like they're eBay. I just don't know what that says. They don't look... Ooh. Air have, mass? Yeah, they're they eBay. They have a name on it. Yeah. That's better than mine. That's what I'm saying. And it looks like the flange is going to move. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Ooh, that's kind of neat. Beautiful. Okay. Look at it. <laughs> oh, oh. <sighs> Yeah. Look at that hood prop. You okay? Yeah, I'm great. Thank okay. you. You're welcome. Okay, well, let's get to it. Okay, so as you saw, we found these at the junkyard. These are actually, um, I've never heard of the brand, but it says made in USA, which is kind of cool. Air, air mass. Um, so what we're going to do is I'm going to cut these off flush on both of them. And then... Uh, We'll see how that works out. It's a shame I didn't start with these because these look to be nicer quality, like they're actually welded together. And whereas this is just one big piece of Chinese. But yep, so we're gonna get going on that. I did say in the beginning of this video that. We're gonna finish everything. Um, this is gonna take a little bit of time, so we'll kind of see where the video's at. I also wanna redo the tips again. Um, if you watch the last one, they're kind of pointed in, so I think I'm gonna cut them again and then get them straight. Um, so I take back what I said. I'm not, well, we're gonna try, but I'm not sure um, how much we're actually gonna get done because th all this stuff takes time. It's like any project. You're like, oh, I'll be done in an hour, and then it takes, you know, you're at, you're in your garage until midnight and a half doing 50 other things you didn't expect. So we'll see what we get done. I'm gonna keep moving and uh, we'll just, we'll see where this ends up, so. Okay, so it's come to my attention that when I first did the the dump tubes, I was centering them with the down pipe, and the down pipe is not centered with the car, and I knew that, but I spaced it out when I was doing it. So thank God for Dennis, because um, we're gonna have the dump tubes, we're gonna have those pop through there, so it will be more important for those to be centered with the body, because you're only gonna see them off-centered when this is up, and obviously it doesn't really matter because of the jankiness we've done blah 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 okay so my head is about done trying to think of how to get those centered because the pipes are off and i'm just my head's done so what i can start doing is the firewall because basically that's going to be a square and my head can handle that right now so 
in my head what I'm thinking is this line here pretty much, so pretty much this line here where this ends. I'm gonna build a little frame and then it's gonna go up to about here and I'm gonna build a separate frame that goes to that bottom piece right there. Then on the, on the top piece, I'm gonna kind of build a thicker frame and then we're gonna have a little window so you can see the motor. And then on that front piece, um, I have this big stainless steel, uh, it's actually from a fridge because my family is in appliances. So it's a stainless steel fridge door skin. Um, there should be enough of that there where I could cut it in half, double layer it, and that should be, I'm assuming, enough protection. Because here at Garage Idiots, we are nothing short of brilliant. I have built a rectangle out of metal. So I just have, <laughs> just have the bottom tacked. I, I have to put it in the car at an angle. I don't know if it's going to be too tall. So I just tacked the bottom and then I'm going to try and fit it in the car. Um, it's pretty straightforward. I'll show you. So this is, this is the bottom. I made this part wider because it's going to allow me more random places to drill holes. I don't really know where it's going to mount yet. So I just made that bigger. Um, and then the sides, the top, this is all pretty straightforward. I want this to sit here on the other side of that. Reason being is we're going to do, they're called NACA ducks. And basically it's like an inverted scoop and then it's got two, uh, like hose fittings on them. So we're going to stick that right here. And then that's what was going to cool the intercooler about there. So I want this to be back far enough to at least fit the ducting and then we can drill holes in the firewall for the ducting to continue. Then also wants me to do a freaking roof scoop and then have the intercooler sit here, which sounds kind of cool. And tell me if this is dumb. I want people to see that. If there's a big intercooler there, you're not gonna see that. So I don't know. I'm kind of torn on that idea, but regardless, this needs to go back a little bit. Okay, so what ended up happening is it was a giant pain in the butt. So I made it shorter, like I said, and then it was still a giant pain in the butt. And I already fully welded these, so to make it shorter, I cut uh, three quarters of an inch off each side, re-welded it, and then just trimmed the edges. Um, so it fits now, it's pretty easy to get in and out. So what I'm gonna do now is put a support from here to there, and then that might be all I need, and then I'm gonna start cutting that up and mount it, see how it goes, and we'll get started on the next piece. Okay, so that is all in, as you can see. So what I'm thinking for this top part, I'm gonna weld two tabs about here and there, give or take, and then cut a piece of that thicker flat stock that I used on the bottom, and then tack weld that to these little tabs, and then set a piece of metal here that measures the length of that, and then I'm gonna run two bars from about here up to this metal on both sides, and then get that structural, not structural, but just get that all in place. Then I'm gonna build the sides in, and this is gonna be the part that takes some time to follow that curve, but I'm gonna get it solid with those and then build that side in, and then we'll plate over this, and then this whole center section will be more or less a window. Ladies and gentlemen, yet again, I've done something brilliant. Would you like to see? I have successfully measured and drilled holes. And they're uh, pretty spot on. Focus, focus, oh well. Okay, so that part's done. Why aren't you focusing? There you go. Okay, so that's done. So now I'm gonna cut a piece of metal for that. And then I don't know, I think I'm gonna bolt it on here like I just did there. Um, so I'll probably Drill holes, do the same thing so that's in place, and then weld those bars like we were talking about, and then build the rest of it. And as long as, uh, I mean, it, it should move pretty quick from here. Like I said, over here is going to be tricky, but I should be able to just cut piece by piece and just tack it all together and then unbolt it, take it out, fully weld it, and we're good to go. Um, and then I left these tacked, the plates underneath, so that way I can move this up and down to get that angle right because I don't know what that's gonna be yet. So that way I can 
we can adjust that to meet that nicely. So I'm gonna keep going on that. Just want to give you an update and show you how intelligent I am. Ta-da! As you can tell by my forehead, I have been welding for a good while, uh, probably about an hour, which is ridiculous for what I'm about to show you. Okay, right, so a concern I had with this was I didn't want all the metal to be vibrating against each other. So I went to town and welded freaking everywhere. Just kind of, I think those are called stitch welds. I just went through and did that everywhere so everything's solid, nothing should vibrate. Wish you guys could tag please McFarland, because I think I got a good chance of taking on McFarland Fabrication. That's the nicest looking rectangle I think I had ever seen. Look at even, I even welded the pieces together and it's nice and straight. <laughs> yep. Can you tag on YouTube? I don't think you can. Well, if you can, figure it out. Tag Cletus, because I'm coming for him. I have never seen anything like this. I even left the plastic on so it would burn itself on there and then be a pain in the butt to get off. He doesn't know who he's messing with. Okay, so I got those not tacked, but not fully welded. And now it kind of looks like a, I don't know, kind of looks like we know what we're doing. I thought about putting these like flush with that, and that would have been a little bit cleaner, but and not that this needs to be structural, but just that's going to be a little bit stronger. I don't know. I'm not worried about it. So I'm going to start cutting metal and start kind of weaving it through here and kind of see this is going to be where it might get kind of messy i'm going to try and keep it clean though because this is what everyone's going to see um so i'm going to get going on that i just want to show you that that's all in place and looks pretty decent okay so i was looking at it a little more and i quickly changed my mind and i will show you why but i decided on one uh little bit of laziness i'll be honest um so I just did that. And reason being is for the amount of time it would take me to make that perfect, it, in my opinion, it's not even worth it. What I can do from here now is I can just overlay some metal on top of this to get it closer. And then I'm gonna get some sort of padding. I'm thinking like something like roll bar padding to press between the two. So it'll make it tight all the way around. Same with like the bottom down there and the sides right there. Um, so I just did that for now. That side is also tacked. I kind of screwed up right there because I had to hold it with the opposite hand and that was hard to do. So I'll tack that a little better, weld that nicely. When this is out of the car, I'll heat that up, tap down with a hammer, voila. But that's, uh, I mean, that looks pretty good. And this is a, I mean, that's a good opening. And I think that's pretty close. I think the last piece of plexiglass I bought was 48 by 24. So that looks like it might do the job. If it's too small, I can build up some metal here. If it's too big, then I'll cut it. Um, also, I wanna make something almost like a clamp for the uh, the plexiglass, so when it yellows or if it gets scratched up, we can just take out a couple bolts on each side, pop it out, and then replace it. But I like where it's heading. I mean, this is, I was kinda, which was weird, I was kinda excited to build this part just cause it seemed kinda simple, but it sounded fun to me for some weird reason. So I'll take a look at it from the front real quick. Um, that's probably going to end up getting sprayed black since I kind of messed up the finish on those sections when I was welding it. But uh, starting to look a little more like a finished product. So, like I said before, um, clearly I'm not even close to doing everything I told you I was going to in the beginning of the video. I'm going to call it here, put it up just so you guys have something to watch because I haven't done anything on the bug uh, in a little bit. Um, so I still got to do the wastegate, still got to redo the tips. I'm going to finish the firewall and we got to do intercooler piping, intercooler. I don't really know what's going on with that yet. Uh, my plans that I had are kind of being interfered with by the firewall. So we got to brainstorm some new ideas. If you guys have intercooler ideas, let me know. I'm trying to avoid doing a roof scoop. Um, if we do a roof scoop, it's going to be really subtle and really thin. I don't like the Baja roof scoops. I think it looks kind of corny and goofy. Um, but once, once all that's done, I mean, the rest of it is really minimal. Obviously the body needs to be pretty, but that's down the road. We're going to get tuned and drive it first. Guys, your comments are 
phenomenal. I love reading them. I try to reply to all of them and it's nice because we're not big yet so I can reply to all of them. But your guys' suggestions and uh, like criticism, every everything you guys are throwing at me is great. I, I love reading all of it. So keep that coming. Um, there's a lot to be suggested and critiqued on this so just feel free to let me have it. Um, I guess that's about it. Um, yeah, until next time. Bye-bye. Yeah, yeah.